my name is Raymond Ceballos. I'm the shop steward of Dayton Beach Park. I've been here over 20 years, and we've been striking here for over 77 days now because the board members decided that they didn't want any union members here anymore. And since then, we've been here through the hottest day on record, the rainiest day on record, an earthquake, and a, and a hurricane, and yet and still we are here fighting to get back into the buildings where we work. We are the true workers of Dayton Beach. This is a union town, and we have a board and a management company that want to get rid of unions. And uh, we're going to do whatever it takes to come in and, and to get our jobs back. So what would you say is the biggest challenges you're facing right now? Well, right now we have uh, a board president. You know, she wanted a reduction of six men, and we told them we wouldn't give them a reduction. But then, ultimately, the union reluctantly said they would agree to a three-man reduction. When they were going to vote to, to make this official, the board president decided that that wasn't enough, that we were making too much money, and that she wanted a wage freeze, a four-year wage freeze, no union raises. And uh, since because she hasn't signed the contract, we have no medical benefits as of April 30th of this year. We haven't had a contract signed as of April 21st, 2010. And here we are since then. Okay, so what are, you, what are the people asking for? What are you asking for? We want everything that's fair to us that everybody in the industry has gotten, which is our wages, our fair wages. We want to be working in there. You know, we have over 20 years, guys have over 20 years, 15, 20 years there. And that's all we want, what everybody else has. And uh, our, our board believes that we make it too much and uh, they don't believe that uh, this place needs union. But right now, they're infested with roaches. There are uh, rats all over the place that have uh, rat boxes. Ever since the men have been out, they have scab workers in there. And uh, they're mopping around with dirty water. They don't care the place, about the place because they're not from here. All our men here are Rockaway residents. We live here, we raise here. I myself I was born in the projects here, and I care about this place. And these people, I've seen a lot of these people growing up, including the board president when she was a little girl, who was raised up on union benefits from her father, who works for transit.